I'm Reverend Bede Ogunlani. I'm uh, continuing teaching on God's training school. In our first teaching, I explained one assumption that God makes in His training us. And it is the fact that God expects us to be developing ourselves. So many believers ask this question, why, why am I passing through this? Listen to this. The reason why you are where you are is more from you than from God. In Exodus chapter 13, verses 17 to 18, the Bible says, And it came to pass when Pharaoh had let the people go, that God led them not through the way of the land of the Philistines, although that was near. For God said, Let's peradventure the people repent when they see war and they return to Egypt. You will see that it was God considering the people that made him to let them pass through the, red, the longer distance. No, that wasn't the only option. There were other options that would be shorter and easier. But the people are the ones that their attitude, their level of development called for them or for God to lead them through the longer distance. Many of us might have been taken through the longer distance in life. And that is why I'm teaching today on investing in your life. See it like this. You are passing through what you are passing through now. Not necessarily because that's the best God will give you. But at the level of development that you have, that is what you in quote deserve. I said in quotes, Pastor Why? he told them, he said, if I take them through shorter distance, they will quickly meet armies of soldiers or a nation that will come against them. They might be scared and wanting to go back to Egypt. He considered them before he led them through the circumstance. More than you realize the circumstances of life, they are not meant to destroy us. In fact, the circumstances and the situation of life you are passing through, all things being equal, remember I put it in quote, all things being equal is in proportion to that which you deserve or your measurement. God led them through the red, the longer distance because he puts them first. Based on their level of development, knowledge, understanding, acquaintanceship with God, they cannot but pass through that path. Probably the reason why you are where you are now is also because of your level of knowledge and development. That is why today I want to talk about you investing in your life. Pastor, what do you mean by that? See, many a time in life, I, I was uh, invited to come and preach to a group of ministers in one mountain in Nigeria where they pray. They gathered together to pray, then they had a minister's conference. And I was telling them, a whole lot of them are on the mountain praying, but rather they will get better results if instead of just sitting down praying alone, work on their knowledge developing, acquiring more knowledge. Pastor, why? The reason is because to a very great extent, you might not be able to leave the circumference that you are operating in except something changes. And more often than none, it is knowledge. You need more knowledge. You need to invest in your life. Jesus gave some parables very interesting parables in the Bible. In Luke chapter 19, let me just quickly go over some of them. In Luke 19, 12, he said, Therefore, a certain nobleman went to a faraway country to receive for himself a kingdom, that's verse 12, and to return, verse 13. And he called his ten servants and delivered unto them ten pounds. The Bible here says Jesus gave a parable of a nobleman that had ten servants and he gave them ten pounds. So each servant had one pound to himself. 
they were all equal. You know an interesting thing there is that he gave another parable whereby some received five, another two, another one. Putting the two together, you will see that what the Lord is saying is this, there are some things that we all have in equal proportion. For example, time. You may not have the same opportunity I have had. You may not have the same background that I have had. You might not have been fed with the same spoon I have, was been, I have been fed with. But there is one thing that, whether you are rich or poor, whether you are handsome or ugly, we all have an equal proportion, and that is time. That is why he gave a parable of ten, a nobleman that has ten servants, giving them ten pounds. Each one has the same as the other. Another parable of a nobleman that has ten servants, but some have five, some have two, some all have one. We, there are some things that we don't have in equal proportion. Opportunity, for example. Where we came from, for example. Inheritance, for example. But as per time, we all have an equal proportion. That is why in investing into your life, one of the things that you must learn never to waste in life is time. Time is important. The way we can convert money to other goods of life is the same way we can convert time to things that will develop us. You can say, you can use time to purchase self-development. What will be the importance of the self-development? The importance of self-development comes in when we realize that the level of our development is what dictates God's method of leading us. He led them through longer distance, in spite of the fact that there are shorter distance that they could have been led through because of their level of development. But we have time. We have time that we can invest into our time, into our life. We have time that we can convert into self-development. Pastor, how? Number one, by investing time in personal education. I read agricultural economics in the uh, University of Ibadan, Nigeria. But I want to tell you something that there is something about what you learn in school and what you learn outside school. To tell you the simple fact of life, many times what we learn in school is not really what will make us. I believe that first degree is more or less ability to be able to communicate in English. That is what you will almost come to turn with. Many times what you learn in life that put bread on your table are the things you will learn after. And that is why you need to learn to educate yourself. You need to learn to develop yourself mentally. I started learning how to make money after I graduated as a graduate of economics in the best university in Nigeria. I then started to learn how to make money. You need to learn to educate yourself. You need to invest time in doing it. Pastor, I don't have so much money. You know, many a time, don't, don't always come with that negative attitude. Where there is a will, there is a way. Before I started pastoring, I, there was a time I tried to really count it. I, I read over 300 books, and I was as poor as anything else. I'm not sure I bought up to 10 out of the books I read. You don't have to. There are a lot of people that have books. Someone says, that, Pastor, my weakness is that I don't read much. No, 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 that's more than weakness. That's wickedness. You are not wicked yourself. You are not smart. You are not likely to be rich. Are you cursing me? No, 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 no. You don't need to be cursed again. <laughs> Listen to this. Educate yourself. Money follows financial education. You need to develop yourself mentally. Mental development, personal education is of high importance when it comes to us relating with the world around us. See, the way the world is, is this. 
God made this world. He put us here. He gave us our five physical senses. Those five physical senses are meant for us to absorb, gather information about the world around us. Sense of sight, smelling, touching, feeling, they are collectors of information. Then our mind, our brain, process the information collected. That is where education comes in. The more you are mentally developed, the more you will be able to understand and relate with the world around you. Money is everywhere. Money flies around. But if you are not mentally educated, if you are not financially educated, you miss it all out. That is why you need to learn to invest time in self-development. At every point in time, we should be able to ask you, which book are you reading presently? Make sure that you educate yourself. Make sure that you read. Make sure that you read. Make sure that you invest time in mentally developing yourself. Our mind is the best gift that God gave unto man. So learn to invest time in doing that by reading. Reading appropriate things. Read books on management. Read books on finance. Read books on money. Read books on self-development. Read books that will help brush you up. What will that do? In God's training, He assumes that. You will see that the more educated, the more enlightened you are, the better with the situations of life that you will be passing through. What we do, we pay for in life is really what we don't know. That is why the more you know all things being equal, the less you pay. Many of us are paying a huge amount in living on this earth because we know so little. Brush up in your level of education and you pay less. I'm Reverend Badi Mulani.